Hey, Sam and friends. Welcome to the joy of Sam and Rachel. I'm Rachel Kuhn, and it's our Fun Fold Friday. Today, we'll be making a fun fold using our Celebration DSP. Go to hold while I flip, and we'll get started. All right. So this fun fold is called a double fan fold, and I learned how to make it from Carol, I'm going to say her last name wrong, Bum, Boom Gartner, and she had this great tutorial on how to make it. Let me show you the card. So it folds down just like this, and then it can open up to that full-on look, and we can even flip it over to see a spot where we can write on the back. It's a super fun fold and reminds me a lot of origami. So I love it. All right, let's go ahead and show you. I did use the hand pen petals for our big floral image and die cut that out already. And I'm using our congratulations. This stamp set coordinates with the celebration paper. So if you look at this paper here, it matches really, really well with that DSP. So it's a great time to order $50 worth and get that DSP for free. All right, so the big thing about this one, there's just lots of cutting, scoring, and measuring. And I've always, I forgot to mention, please uh, say something on this live and you might be one of our lucky winners of the card we're making today. All right, so I have this already pre-cut, pre-scored, and all of my measurements will be in the description below or in the comments below after this video but it's a five and a half by seven and a half and we have it scored at four places we have one and a quarter two and a half five and six and a quarter and then once we have these scores here we need to make the x's can you see where i see? They start from here and go down and there's one x there and one x here these ones you just put into your paper trimmer and turn it so that there's corner to corner through your um, scoring line and that's where you'll score that part and then turn it and do the other side as well. You want to make sure we keep this center spot free and nothing there. All right there's also lots of paper so this is for the basic white for the back which is the same size as our mat here. I'm using polished pink as my pop of color to go with our DSP and then this DSP is also for the front here. Let's go ahead and glue that on right now and we'll get it ready. And the fun thing about this DSP is that they're, it's all black and white with the idea that you can change it up and make it match anything you want or color it in even. All right, so that's for our middle piece and that's for our back piece. We'll save that for a little bit. And then we have lots of little pieces. So, let me show you those pieces first and then we'll go ahead and work on that card base bottom. I've already went ahead and glued some of them together. These were just rectangles a little bit ago and what I did was I went ahead and I, let's see if they match up. Nope, so these ones don't even go with these ones. So on the card, it'll look like this. So you'll need four pieces of the mats and the DSP. And then we will glue them on to the triangle spots so they match. However, when you cut them, you need to do two going from the right top to the left bottom and two from the left top to the right bottom and to make it to go the right angles that we need. Let's go ahead and glue these ones on. I've already done these ones so they're, you can see how that looks. And it's just the same repeated process, so I don't need to, didn't need to show you how to do all of them to give you the right idea. And I just usually do a line of glue on this one because it's, it's such a little piece that it will squish out and fill the rest of the space. And we want it to be able to wiggle to put it into the place we want it to be though. So definitely liquid glue for this type of card. And we could have used the other side if we had wanted to. 
has a fun like a scallop black and white lines there. But we're just going to go ahead and use the floral side again for this one. Okay, so I'll have these all grouped over so we know that one's for the left side, one's for the right side of our card. And then I just have to show you the last triangle we have to make. It needs to look like this. So you're going to take a piece of one inch by five and we're going to cut it to make this triangle. This triangle goes right on these outer sides right here is where we'll place that. So what we'll do is take our paper trimmer and I've already measured and cut one of them. So I'm gonna do it to this one by going at the five and a half mark with my paper trimmer, I'll measure it out. And then I'll just put a little pencil mark like that. Then we're gonna turn it and we're gonna cut from this corner here, the top right corner, down to that pencil mark right there. So we need the top corner to this bottom in the track right there. Take your paper cutting blade and cut it through, and then we'll turn it and do it for the other one, the other side. So just rotate it a little bit, line that up again to that track. So I like to keep one finger here and then I'll move that bottom. And then I like to help keep it still by putting it, the cover over it as well. And then we'll cut that one. So when you're cutting this, you either make a mental note to cut it differently from the right side or left side, or just know that you'll have to flip it over to make it match to where it needs to go. So let's go ahead and glue all these pieces on and grab our bone folder. That's also a must have for this style of card. We're gonna take all these score lines and just start creasing all of them. So we have our diagonal ones we need to get. To make our X marks a spot. And this way too. Okay, we'll do the other side. This reminds me of origami a whole lot right now. Just lots of folding and creasing to make it the shapes that we want. I used to love origami as a little girl. And that was super fun. Okay. Now that we have it that way, we have to figure out how it's going to go in together and make sure we have all of our score lines right or fix the ones that we don't before we start gluing on. So this one should be, I think we might need to go this way. Think actually, it needs to be flipped over like this, and then that will go together. That looks more right, and these will pop up. So I'm gonna take my bone folder and go on this side as well. And see if that helps us. Alright. Almost. I just need to tuck this part in. That still doesn't look right, does it? I think... Okay, we'll figure this out. This needs to go here, and this needs to pop up here. And then this needs to fold down, though. <laughs> no, not even quite yet. Hold on. Let's take our model and look at it and see how we need to match this. So these need to pop up. So we have that. And this one though needs to tuck in. There we go. All right, let's start gluing and hopefully it'll just all come together. Right? <laughs> I feel like it's still just upside down though. That looks good. Okay, 
Here we go. Let's glue. We'll just do it. So we're going to start on one side and work our way over. And like I said, there's just a lot of glue on here. And you'll just match them up so that way they line up. And you can tell when they don't go. Like, you see how that one's not fitting in that spot? So it's easy to, to know where to place them, at least. There you go. And you can switch out the color for this one. I just use that bright pop of pink because I thought that would look great and have that nice... Um, competing colors from that a basic colors to a bright color. I'm just gonna work our way across. We'll put this on now. Just center in there and keep on gluing. I think it'll be easier to fold in once we see all of our pieces. With it just being that solid color, it's hard to envision how we want it to go. I just flew a piece of paper across my table. So I'm gonna have to go grab that. Thank you. Hudson, my son's in here, so he magically grabbed it for us. We didn't have to go and grab it. There we go. And this card is fun to learn, but it's definitely not my my regular, my my favorite kind of fun folds. It is very unique, but but fun. Okay, we'll let that dry while we go ahead and grab and do our stamping and coloring stuff. So I have that already stamped and die cut out from our hand pen petals, and then I just have a little piece of strip of that polished pink to stamp our congratulations onto. I'm using that memento and I'm going to get as close as I can to one edge. So I have this going a little oversized so that way I could trim it. I'll just cut off a little piece there and then we want to put dimensionals on the back of this and we need to close our ink because I'm going to make a mess if I don't. And at least three dimensionals probably for that one. Okay. This was put here on the bottom of the card. Just like that. Next, we just need to color these flowers. You can leave it plain and that would match and look really cool, in fact. Or you can have one flower colored or all of them colored. You can even add some green at this point to this image here. I'm gonna just do a little bit of the coloring to show you. I have that light polished pink and I'm going to use the brush tip side and just go over this flower a little bit. Do my a squiggle type coloring. So a little kid could even color this because it doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to stay in the lines but you can even leave some white lines. I like it when there's not all colored in for these flowers. I think I'm just going to color these big ones and we'll leave those little ones just plain. If you want to make it darker in parts, you can go over again that light one or add the dark polished pink as well. And just do a couple highlighting. You can go over those lines if you want. You can go back around the center so it has a, a dark center or you can even go on the outer edges. Lots of options of how to color your flowers. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, Wink Estella. I do think that is a must for this card though. Just to put a little bit of glitter, a little bit of wink. And even on those ones we didn't color, go ahead and add some glitter to them. All right, we'll see how that one turned out. See if you can see that little bit of wink there. 
pretty glitter. Flip it over and let's put some dimensionals on the back. And let's see if we can't get this card to fold the way we want it to. I make sure you just do mostly the center because our leaves are going to come off and not be, we don't want those to be stuck. And I'm going to change the direction this time of my flower and having this one, I had the leaves going that way. We'll have them going more to the left this time. Okay. So I think we're going to go tuck this part. Let's see. So this part's going to go down and this part's going to come up and then this part's going to go back down. Let's see if we can get it figured out. And make it work to make our double fan almost. Nope. So that's down and that needs to be popped up. I don't know if I can get it to go the way. So it's just folding like this right now, which kind of works too. But it should be going where this is supposed to be popping out. Let's see. You guys are so patient with me. So I think these need to be scored maybe again this direction, though. What do we say? We'll see if this helps us. Almost. So that one's going to go. These are going to go up. That's going to go down. Oh my goodness. Almost. I think this last piece here. <laughs> no, it's still not folding the right way. All right, you guys, we'll refer to this one. And if I can get the other one to fold, I will post a photo of it. I just can't figure out how to get that to go like this and to pop up that way. All the measurements are the same. I think it's just the way that we have scored it and that they're just not popping. There's, oh, there's one. We're not gonna give up. There we go. There's the double fan on that side. Whew. And let's see if we can get this side to go too. Maybe, so that's supposed to be up and that's supposed to be down. Nope, I don't know if I can get this one. Okay, we'll just pretend. There is what it's supposed to look like. All right, you guys, play with this one. See if you can get better at it than I can. But I hope you've enjoyed learning something new and give it a try. Even if it's not your fun folds you're used to, try it out and see. You might actually really love it. All right, you guys, have a great weekend. Happy stamping, everyone. Goodbye.